understand what you're saying. Yeah. And I understand what you're saying. It, that, it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, but because, yes, especially because I do believe in like the manifestation and everything, it, it, it is kind of like manifesting the the mental that you want instead of what you are used to. So I, mm. I get, I understand what you're saying. Mm. I like yeah. that. Wow. Well, this is, man. Hey, changing perspectives around here. I love this. I love this. And not to, uh, to stop the conversation, but JR, bro, how are you doing, man? I'm not sure if you can hear us. JR, are you there? Made it. Say sound, sound like he's in the gym. Sound like he's like lifting right now. Y'all hear that? Like, <laughs> come on, bro. You got three more reps. Give me three, you got more, three more reps. reps. <laughs> come on, come on, man. You got it. <laughs> but, but I guess why he's he's probably you know getting in here. Um, Giselle, and Art, I would love to hear both of you all's perspectives on that too. Um, Go ahead, perspe- G. yeah, the perspective of like, do you think body dysmorphia can be cured? Is that something that can actually be? taken care of i see both sides so i i agree with both like with both elena and um sorry how do you say carrie ann carrie ann mm-hmm. oh Carrie. okay yeah i agree with like both you know i think like you do like what carrie ann said like if you keep believing you have something you're always gonna have it no matter what but i also do see like elena's side too though i feel like is it really really like terrible like no more or is it just like manageable mm. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's just a little bit close, maybe. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I have my personal beliefs, so it's just like, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. But you think you, you see both perspectives, and you're saying that you wouldn't say either is wrong, but you have your own personal perspective as well, mm-hmm. okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. Do you think that it is all in perspective? Like, in some sense, it could be a little truth from each perspective? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because your, per- your perspective in life is really important, too. And that, exactly. could like make, that could make or break you, your perspective in life. And, like, the way you look at every situation. Like, are you quick to blame others before looking at yourself? Are you quick to blame circumstances or your problems? Do you realize... You know, a lot of people don't understand they cause their own problems sometimes. Mm. So it's like, you know, I mean, there's just a lot. But that's like talking about other stuff. But just in general, you know, like in life. That's good. Perspective is important. For sure. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. And not to not to cut you off, G, I just wanted to introduce Jay. Jay, bro, how you doing, man? What up? What up? Uh, that's my bad. Actually, I have poor reception inside the gym. Yeah, and I'm not used to like the Eastern Standard Time because I'm in the Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. so I got my times a little mixed up. But yeah, my bad. I'm actually at the gym right now. Bro, no problem at all, man. No problem at all. How how are you, bro? How's everything going? And I mean, just to introduce you to the group, man. How how's everything going with you? Everything is going well. Um, I'm actually more getting more active in the gym as of right now, just because I do have a three week uh, newborn. So I do have one time yeah. off as of right now. So definitely going to get uh, the, the extra work in, including at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my mm-hmm. overall health is a lot better than it used to be. Just because I, uh, I have a better approach on the personal health. Absolutely. You know, because uh, I, I did mess up a few years ago. I did become diabetic type 2. And yeah. my approach was completely off. Yeah. Um now, after I've done years of research, I find that my current diet right now is working best for me. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Get it right for that newborn. Get it right for that yeah. newborn. That's exactly. beautiful. So the, the more time I spend being healthy, the more years given back to me for exactly. my newborn. Come on. Come on. H- how much longer do you have? In, are you about to hop off now because you're at the gym? or? Um, you know, it's just... I'll, I'll take a few minutes, you know. It's not really crowded right now, so I'm not, okay. like, in any type of rush, really. Okay, okay, because I, I wanted to jump to Art really quick, and then I was going to jump hey. to you. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, cool, cool. But well, pretty much we're just talking about uh, body dysmorphia, and the question right now is, do you feel like body dysmorphia can be cured? Like, is it something that can ultimately be do, – do you know what body dysmorphia is? I'm sorry. Uh, I, I believe it's when – you feel like your your body is not 
like at your goal uh, mm-hmm. vision, but it can also be something that you think mentally is probably sometimes cannot be helped. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I I believe I kind of do have that personally. Mm. And that's good. Yeah. And that's good. That's good. And and hold that because I want to I want to come to you in regards to that. So when I when I yeah. come to you next, I want to I want to ask you about that. Um, okay. but please hold that. Please hold that. Yeah. But all right, man, I want to hear you too with the with the, do you believe it can be cured? Carrie Ann, uh Elena and Giselle, they've kind of given their perspective. Where are you with that? Do you believe that it's something that can be eradicated? Um, is something is it something that we deal with until the day we die? Where's your perspective? Um, I think uh, in my belief, please, that um, like I'll just come and say, um, we are stronger than we like because I always say this: we are stronger than we are physically, and we're stronger than we are mentally. And when it comes down to mentally, if you can break through the cycles of anything, what from even from addiction to body dysmorphia, if you could break that, you're better than that. 100 percent you can cure it your, your own self from it you know what i mean mm-hmm. you just got to dig down deep and believe in yourself mm-hmm. on a, you know what i mean on any point of stance mm-hmm. um it was funny because i was thinking about it too because every time it's like even for us men you know what i mean like even the, even where i'm at in my fitness journey i still look at other people and be like dang why ain't i jacked like him Mm. You know what I mean? Or, I mean, why, how, what is he doing different than I'm doing? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As in, that's when I get those thoughts in my head, I always have to remind myself, hey, this is your journey, bro. This is your journey. And we're, we're going to get to where we want to be one step at a time. You know what I mean? You just got to, that's how I just look at it. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's beautiful. I, I, I appreciate that response. And, Again, I, I, I even second that definitely in regards to perspective. I think all of you all so far are hitting perspective from Giselle, Carrie Ann, Elena. All right. Um, so, Jay, we're going to head over to you. So, Hold on. Uh, yeah. bad. Let me just no. give me a couple seconds. Yeah. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. Um, but again, from, from, um, starting with Jay, I then want to go around and just like cycle back. And I want to ask everybody if you're dealing currently with body dysmorphia. So, Jay, again, we're going to start with you, but I want to I wanna pretty much hit, are you dealing with body dysmorphia? And then why do you think that is? Or why not? You know, me and Giselle, we just had a, a live with Chanel where we addressed that that uh, topic. And, you know, again, it's something that I think a lot of people deal with, but they suffer with in silence. And I don't want to, I want to make sure anybody that's on this call right now isn't suffering with it in silence, if so. So, Jay, man, we want to start with you uh, when you're ready. But, you know, we want. I, I just want to know, you, you stated you were dealing with body dysmorphia. So then, if you can help us understand, why do you think you're dealing with it? Personally, I do believe that I am suffering with some sort of body dysmorphia because um, growing up in my family, I was always the biggest one. Excuse me, let me turn that down. I was always the biggest one in my family, whether it came to height. Body size, BMI, all that stuff, and essentially the the, the family kind of created this image mm. that I should look like them, mm. right? But they would use me as a, a uh-uh. ah, I hate that. I hate it. Dang, I think we lost him. He must be in Vegas too, because Vegas sucks with Verstappen. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was. I think he did say he was over on the West Coast. Like, <laughs> I know, and then like you know, my boy's about to get deep too. Like he, he was getting deep said, because when, when, he, when he said his family said you should be looking like this, I was like, man, hold on, man, let me go grab my drink and sit yeah. down. So I, you know what I mean? My boy finna break it down. You know what I'm saying? Devil <laughs> stay busy, but he ain't gonna save now. And then plus too, like I hope he gets back in here because like. Like even with um Carrie Ann and um what was his name? JR? Yeah, JR. Yep. Like I was just getting ready just to like actually after he was done speaking, it's just to give props because 
from where they are and where they're at and going down the ladder isn't easy. You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all made that choice to jump in there and take, you know, take life by the hand. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get back down to this. So you done dropped a couple of pants sizes. I couldn't wait to hear what my man, my man was in the gym right now. And that's letting me know that his mentality is in the right spot and he needs to keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all are in the right spot. So just keep grinding. Yes, yes, bro. I, I'm, I'm hoping that he jumps back in. I'll message him. Um, but I, I, I want to keep it rolling because I want to make sure we hit everybody. I want to make sure we hit everybody. So Elena, if we can go to you and I, and if he jumps back in here, Elena, I don't know if you mind if we jump back to him. But oh. okay, okay. But I do want to let's let's keep it rolling because I want to hit everyone. But if you don't mind, Elena, where are you in regards to body dysmorphia? Are you struggling with it? And if so, why? If not, why? Um, I am, and I'm not. Um. Like, again, I say it's manageable because back when I met my husband in 2013, um, before I got with him, I was training to go to the Air Force. I was That was my plan. So I had already been working out. I was at 185 and then I got down to 165 because that was the, the limit I had to be at. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm short, so I'm like five feet. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to being any bigger than that. Like mm-hmm. I, that was 185 was really big for me back then. Yeah. Um, and then when I got with my husband, his family owned a Mexican restaurant, and I we yeah, were yeah. day. <laughs> so I shot, you know, I shot back up, mm-hmm. and then I got pregnant. And with my son, I gained the most weight. I like people thought I was pregnant with triplets because I was so big. Mm-hmm. So after I had my son, I was. 235 mm. and for me that was like really it was very challenging because mm. i was because i'm so small i don't carry weight well yeah. um and i just didn't i did not like how i looked i didn't like who i was mm. uh, fast forward to now mm. you know i've lost so much weight that sometimes i still i don't like unless I'm looking in the mirror, I don't see it. Like, I don't feel it. I don't feel like I've lost that. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, I, just, I just don't like, you know, I, like I have rolls or blah, 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 but so does everybody, you know? So that's why I have to tell myself, so does everybody. Even the yeah, skinny manage. have rolls yeah. when they, um, mm-hmm. but it helps to have reassurance. Mm-hmm. Like my husband will constantly tell me every day, like your waist is looking smaller. You, Let's you know? go. So much weight your mm-hmm. your stomach's looking flatter like body blah and then i'll look and i'm like you know you're right you're right mm-hmm. like I'm not so like i get it i i see it now so it does mm-hmm. help to have others reassure me too yeah but if i don't have anybody around like i'll go look in the mirror and i'm like you know like i, I am looking okay I, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm good. like yeah, okay let me get out of my head because now i'm just i'm just overthinking too much exactly. and i'm an overthinker so that's where i have to manage it because i once i once a thought gets in my head i'm like dang like is that for, am I, is that right like mm-hmm. is, is that true mm-hmm. I'm like no, no 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 okay it's not so i am a big overthinker so i think that's why i have to manage it because i once a thought gets in my head it's very hard for me to get it out unless i i have to sit there and like talk myself talk out. yourself out mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's congratulations for even opening up the way you just did. I think for the rest of the people that maybe answer, you know, that will answer the question. I think it's a lot easier hearing someone like you just pour out the way you just did about it, you know, because I, again, with your physique, again, I, I just told you, like, I think you're slant, but you. it, it, yeah, of course, but it really goes to, it really goes to show though, like, you know, you can, you can look a certain way. You can be a Carrie Ann or Elena or Giselle or Art and still have body dysmorphia. That's what I want people that's watching this to see, because I'm going to use the content. I'm going to put y'all body in there. I'm going to let people see as y'all saying these things. Like, because I want them to know, like, people are still struggling, even when you may think they should have no reason. (laughs) So that's that's beautiful. Um, For the sake of time, I'm just going to ask. I'm, I'm, I want to mo- keep moving around just to make sure I get everyone, but I want to come back to some of the things you stated as well. Um, but I think that what you just said just now is phenomenal. Thank you for sharing that. Um, let's move to Giselle. 
how are you in terms of body dysmorphia? Are you struggling with it right now or not? And then why or why not? I don't, I'm not struggling with it right now. That's good. That's good. That's good. So why not? Why are you not struggling with it? I know, I know you mentioned it live, but yeah, I wanted to hear it again. <laughs> oh, it, I mean, there's no other explanation really for me. It's just like, because of God, really. That's yeah. My explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so I have, Mm -hmm. I, I wish I had a better answer because I feel like sometimes like people want like to hear like no. like tips and like trick like or like certain things, but it's really it's just that you know. Yeah, your faith. Yeah, so so your faith yeah. it keeps you. You you mentioned that on live, but I did want to say this. Like, you feel like your faith is what keeps you grounded. It keeps you grounded in knowing who you are, knowing your dignity. Is that what you're saying? Like knowing your worth. Is that is that kind of where you're going with that? Um, well, cause in the live, I was mentioning like, like people talk about confidence, right? Like yeah. you need to build your confidence, but like confidence is not just your appearance. You know, okay. like there's there, you have to be confident in your morals, yeah. what you stand for, your core values. Mm. You got to be confident in your mindset, the way you live your life. I mean, mm. in your decision-making, mm. you I mean, so it's like more than just appearance, but I feel like if you solely, um, put confidence next to like appearance i feel like it's always going to be a really tough battle mm. this confidence is not just about appearance that's good that's good, so that's good. Like that helps me personally that's good that's really not, good too yeah no, i'm sorry go ahead go ahead no i was just gonna say yeah because it's not just about appearance you know what i mean like that's, that's just like like and you mentioned it a lot like i'm gonna get old one day i'm not gonna look like this forever Mm -hmm. like uh, one day i'm gonna have a lot of wrinkles one day my back might yeah. start to curve a little bit yeah, you know? that, that, <laughs> that, that, that 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 black hair ain't gonna be black forever yeah it's gonna be great nah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like you know little... so i don't know i don't know it's just like i kind of think of it that way too it's just yeah. like yeah. too temporary that's good it doesn't matter what matters is like what's in here and what's in here really mm, that's good that's good so okay hopping from elena to giselle Elena mentioned the aspect of actually it's it's a similar connection that y'all both just said. Elena, you mentioned the aspect of getting validation or encouragement outside of you helps. Mm -hmm. Giselle, you also seem to be taking that same perspective just in terms of your faith and that being it comes from an outer source, not necessarily your own physical appearance. You're taking it into the aspect of, hey, I have I look at my values. I look at my core values, my beliefs, those things help develop that confidence that you don't necessarily have to get from your appearance. Mm -hmm. You say the same thing. I love that. I love, I love that perspective. Um, dang it. That's a great perspective. I want to keep moving though, because I want to hear everybody, but it's a great <laughs> perspective. You both just shared outer sources helping with the confirmation or the battling against body dysmorphia. I love it. That's dope. JR just tried to join. Um, did he not get back in? Okay. Um, if he joins again, I'll, I'll add him back in. But Carrie Ann, let's hop to you because ladies first and then we'll hop to art. But body dysmorphia, are you struggling with it? Are you not? And then in terms of if you are, if you're not, why not? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. I know I was about this, but again, perspective, this is something new. And I'm learning how to get rid of that mentality, just because of the simple fact, you know, and I can, and it's funny, because um, Elena and Giselle, I think like both of them, with mm. certain things, you know, it's like Giselle, I think the way she does with a lot of things in life, but also mm. Elena, same thing. Mm. So with this, because it's new, I'm like, Oh my God, I don't like this. I don't mm -hmm. like that. So I absolutely do um, struggle with it right now. You know, I'll look, I'll, I will pick myself apart, pick mm -hmm. my apart. But then when I do a side by side photo of me a year ago versus now, I'm yep. like, girl, bye, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, my biggest thing, how now I'm going to plot twist here. Come on. How I, how I used to deal with it mm -hmm. is to have a drastic change in my appearance, whether it was a tattoo or I'll cut my hair or I'll yes. color my hair, oh. do my nails, some sort of drop because I'm distracting myself from
from seeing what I don't like about myself. But yeah. now mm -hmm. I am facing my battle mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, I know I don't like this. So now what I tell myself is, so I, I am dealing with it, but I'm working on getting over it getting over because, it. because it's a challenge. So what I do is now I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I have this right here, but whoo, girl, get it. Um, <laughs> like I have this right here right now, mm -hmm. but I'm working on getting rid of it. So now I don't even pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. Do I pay attention to my flaws? Absolutely. We all do. We all pick ourselves apart. It's just yep. the fact of reality. It's something that we do. It's human nature, yep. but you have to understand that it, same thing. Like what Giselle said, you know, you're not going to look like that forever. You know, like, yes, you're going to get to your peak of your beauty and, or what society thinks beauty is or Come what on. you think yeah. is. You know, and then it's like you get old one day. I have gray hair. I can't wait for my whole head to be white. And wow. I'm 30 years old. I'm just like, come in. You know? <laughs> but just because I love it, it's different, you know, yes. but yeah. I absolutely do have it. How do I deal with it? Now I just face it. I'm yeah. not cutting my hair. I'm not coloring my hair. Let's I'm not go. Doing yeah. Because like it is what it is. Yeah. Um, And I will say I am absolutely very confident in my skin now, mm. you know, I was just a few weeks ago because for me to go from 270 back in January to 241 now, heck, yeah. hey. Um, so yes, mm -hmm. but I'm learning on removing that mentality. So I'm so proud of you. I'm so J Jr. <laughs> I see you, man, but I gotta give her flowers. <laughs> I, I gotta give her flowers, Jr. Give me one second, Jr. Bro. <laughs> That that was amazing. Like seriously, I love him. I, I I try not to tear up from hearing all this. Like for real. Like me and Art, we had a we had a heart to heart yesterday, and we, you know, he teared up a little bit. I I was getting teary eyed from him getting teared. Like I love this stuff. Like seriously, this is this is amazing. What y'all are saying, you know what I'm saying? Like come on, we got faith in here. We got people mentioning faith. We got people mentioning how other her husband, Elena's husband. Like come on, tell Ramon. I said come on. Like, 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 that is amazing. Seriously, like, like, bro, we have husbands in here giving, giving confirmation. You know, we got a, we got Jr. in here with his newborn. Come on. Like, this is, this is what it's about, man. This is what the journey is about. We're fighting for others. And then Carrie Ann, you just pour it out in regards to how you're facing it. She used to cut her hair, make drastic changes. And look at you now. Like, she's facing it. Glory. Say it again. All the glory goes to God. Come on, come on, come on! What I love again, I love that, and 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 so I I just I I truly want to just take that time and just you know give all of y'all the that 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 your your accolades because of the aspect of you all facing it head on, running uh running at it instead of running from it, um doing it for others, doing it for your newborn. So Jr, we're gonna we're gonna hop back to you, bro. Art, I know you wanted to hear Jr. So I wanted to come. Okay, that's All not right. bad, bro. Like I, I, I ended up getting in the car. I started the car. Yeah. Everything cut off. I had to go to like a different parking lot to try to get a better reception. But look, look what, look what he just said. This man drove to another parking lot to get on. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It just that's gets better and better, bro. Like for real, and, and and I'll definitely have you on the next call, bro. Like uh, you know, use that give everybody a free pass. But I, I know you kind of missed a lot of this call, so I want you on the next one next Sunday too. You know, for what I'm sure, saying? Yeah, for sure. I, absolutely, bro. But 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 let's go back to you, bro. Your story. You were you were getting into it. Why you know why you think you have body dysmorphia? Why you think you struggle with it? So can you please? We all wanted to hear. It. So can you please go into it? I I believe I yeah I do suffer from some type of body dysmorphia because. Growing up, I was always told to like, like when the more you eat, the stronger you get, mm. right? Mm. So I continue to like consume everything in sight, whether yeah. it's like either finishing my food, finishing my siblings' food, mm -hmm. um, basically just don't waste money either. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's gotten to the point where you see someone smaller than me, and then you're thinking like, how are they stronger than me? But I'm bigger, yeah. so why am I like not as strong? Mm -hmm. So when I started to continue to work out, I was just never satisfied yep. with my physique, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so that's kind of where like, I'm, I'm continuing to battle, yep. you know, I, I can like drop weight, you know, but then I'm like, damn, okay, I'm starting to look a little good, but damn, I'm still, I'm still in that like uh, waistline where I, 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 I don't want to be, you know, yep. and I've, I've been in weight size, not weight size, uh, waist size. I think since, 
probably like 2010. So mm. somewhere around like my sophomore year of high school. And yeah. if we're going to jump to like the next question of like curing, I don't know if I want to say cure is my choice of words mm. because personally only because I don't, I don't try to cure myself but rather to improve myself. And I don't want to try to like answer for a, like a general group of people and, uh, you know, uh, say cure because I don't know. I, I just, I, I kind of push that off for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I never really gave some thought to it. You know, um, I try to look for another way around it as sort of improving instead of trying to like face a head on, mm. because sometimes when you, when you, you try to find a fault in yourself, you start to go down like a, a darker path that I, you know, you don't want to go down to, mm. Um, mm. you know? So when you try to work a way a around it, mm. it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing, but definitely I think you can improve the mentality of trying to not go down that way of, you know, getting worse with the whole body, this morphia thing. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. So, that's just like my little two cents. You know, my mind is a little still on the pre-workout right now, so I'm kind of jumping everywhere. But <laughs> nah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. I know, right? We did throw you off your workout. Like we literally he literally got in his car out coming out yeah. of the gym. You I oh, ended up moving. I was like, you know what? This, this call is, is, is I want to be on this call. So the gym will always be there, but you know, this is a weekly thing. The gym I can go like every single day if I wanted to, but if this is a weekly thing, I want to put some my my time into this real quick, you know. I want to show face. You know, I wasn't trying to like jump out and you know be hella weird, but no, nah, you're good, man. You know, you're I'm good. Come back into this funk and into this group, you know. Bro, man, that's I I feel that, bro, and I appreciate it. Um, what you said again, knowing your background, knowing, knowing like you said, you had your your siblings, your parents, your family would, in a sense, because you were heavier. You know, you started off there, and then you kind of went into the whole aspect of um how you were, you know finishing the food all of those different things your upbringing pretty much yeah. impacted a lot of that and i appreciate you pouring out being transparent with that as well uh that's not easy i keep telling everyone that like it's not easy to say what you've been through or what contributed to where you are today it's not easy yeah. you know but you took that time out as well and you're taking that time out um, and I, again, I love what you just shared in regards to your perspective, how you're working through it. You kind of seem to be in the, the same alignment with Elena in a sense. And that is the aspect of managing it, not curing yeah. it, but managing it. It yeah. sounded like that's where you were going. Um, that is exactly what I was going, you know? Okay. That is. Yeah. 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 And, and I, and I love that. I love that. I love that you, again, you, you have your perspective and that perspective being one of which is managing, but at the same time, you're still, you're still working towards it. You haven't given yes. up in regards to it. So um, I'm going to head over to art and I want to, I want to just check in with him in regards to his uh, body dysmorphia. If you're struggling with it, man, just to kind of, you know, see where you are as well. And then I can kind of open it up into another question. I have um, one more question, but um, all right, if you don't mind, bro, I just want to know, man, where are you? Cause Again, bro, you're. I, I don't like even taking my shirt off looking at your pictures, man. So you know what I'm saying. Like, I I don't think you struggle, but at the same time, you know, do you struggle with it? And you know, if so or if not, why or why not? Um, I can't say like it's a struggle, like where it brings me down or it attacks me, but I know I can relate because I never thought like. Like when I look at life totally different, like ever since I got sober, uh, yeah. when back when I was drinking, I used to just like, man, how do people think like this? You know what I mean? And then <clears throat> once I got sober and it got to where I'm at in my journey and I can actually see because there is sometimes where I'll be like, like even right now when I when I went through that cut and then I just bulked up and I'm trying to get back down to my uh, another cut. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of got that little discouraged feeling because like that picture, what I remember I was telling you about yesterday, yeah. you know, the one on the snippet, it's like, how did I let myself get right here where I'm at? And I'm like, wow, bro, it's like, I had to tell myself here. And that's why I said mentally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, bro, we, 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 we gain, you know, now we're back on the, on the, on the drop. Yeah. Like, we're going we're gonna to get there, baby. Just keep on, <laughs> keep on working. But, and then, you know, the first thing when I started thinking in my head is like, all right, man, 
I, I can see where people are coming from with this now. I look at it as a totally different perspective because before I, I, yeah, I didn't ever look at it that way. I'm like, man, there's no, how do people think this way? But it is true mm. because I caught myself thinking about wow. it. Wow. As in, um, yeah. as far as it bringing me down, um, it kind of leans to where like G was talking about, like where I bring my faith in things.